Before we continue with the PCB design, let me show you at the end how we validate our schematics. Now the schematics can have some errors and maybe we are not able to spot them immediately. So we have an option to validate the schematics by using the, uh, the function validate. We click on the project with the right hand button and validate PCB project. We click it and if um, everything was okay, nothing is shown, we can click on messages here and we see that everything is green. Compiled successfully, it says no errors found. Now, why does it say compile? Because this function was used to be called compile in, late, in earlier versions of Altium. It is similar to compilation of any source code. During the compilation, it can check, usually checks, uh, the source code, how it is, um, if there are any errors, and it can show then which errors have been made. So let me show you, uh, let me induce you some errors here. I will just copy paste this capacitor because here we need another one. Okay, now this capacitor is unconnected. If I now select the compile or validate, we can click on messages, and now I see um, the yellow mark, which is undesignated part C question mark. So it didn't show the error that this capacitor is not, is not connected, but it showed error that or warning that the C is not numbered. It has a question mark. Hmm, that's strange. Maybe the C doesn't have any um, defined pins whatsoever of uh, that the pins have a defined function. If I put just one digital component in, you can immediately see that these pins have a certain function defined. So these are outputs, these are inputs, and this is inverted clock, inverted input actually. So if I now click compile, here, yeah, or uh, let me switch to validate function, then it will show a lot of warnings and errors. So these are errors and these are warnings. And it says unconnected pin, unconnected pin, unconnected pin. Because the thing is that inputs should not be unconnected. And uh, it says also here, net C6 has no driving source. So the input has no driving source, so no signal is defined there, and so on. So we have to connect the component and then the errors will be gone. So let me put this capacitor here in this. Okay, the emitter might be on the other side, right? So I will move emitter here and I will place the capacitor here and now it is connected. And let me name it. I will actually go and use the function annotate schematics and annotate schematics quietly. Yes. Now this C question mark became C3. Now you can see that there is a gray C question mark still left here so that you can know direct, uh, directly which components has been renamed. renamed. And um, this is still here. You can work with this. You can save it. You can do anything. You can. You will still hear, uh, see it here. So what you can do, you can go to the project and select validate. And now it is validated. If I would s change the designator to C1, for example, you would immediately see that it already shows an error uh, with this uh, curly line here and here. And um, yeah, if I click validate, you will immediately see an error. Yeah, duplicate comp component designator C1. So again, I can go to the annotations, annotate schematics. Uh -huh, now the annotate schematics quality that doesn't help because all the C have already some numbers. So I have to use another one and this is called force annotate. So I will now go through the, this function will go through the schematics and it will find the duplicates and it will rename them like here. So now this one is renamed and I can again go to the compile or validate. I usually, I mix these two. I mean, compile was used for a long time. So it's kind of stuck with me. So validate, yes and the project is validated and no errors have been found.